at the exploration part of the four X's. There's a science behind game production to make it. Uh, I said Myers gave a video gave a video on it once. Yeah, video talk. Well, Ninety minutes or so on the science of computer of for video game making. How you can make it psychologically. Um, pleasing video and certain things that you shouldn't do you shouldn't make it feel like the game's cheating you in some way uh, some certain things like the paranoia overcomplication oversimplification all these kind of things no you really don't uh, you really don't like me anyway. On the plus side, you're no longer unhappy. Can you build some sea forms? can use spore launchers for uh, police purposes, but for defensive purposes I imagine mine runs the best because they can actually go out and attack. This is what I sound like. And what I saw next to the was a the uh, eight year old child. Like it looks really well for an eight year old, doesn't it? No, I'm done. Maybe it would have been better with the recreation comments. I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a happiness expert. These places aren't as prosperous as they once were, and I am sure it's because the um, danger angels have been stealing my water. Can. Yeah. Courage to question, that's his capital. You'll see everything starts picking up quite quickly now. Oh, it's slowing down a bit. Oh, there. 
There's a slowdown from the um, from the uh, recording device. Well, that's terribly good here then. Right there. Hmm. Non lethal weapon me methods. That's also a good way if I don't want to build mind worms. Uh, no. Jumping. Okay, I'm too curious. I'm going to talk to the uh, pirates if we can get to them. Ooh, that looks like I might be able to. If no other reason, it's been a long time since I've done one of those uh, little segues where I talk about the faction. Guardian Hoonies doing quite well. I am ahead in tech. Quite surprising because we've got the cyborgs who are uh, very good at tech. Well, you wouldn't be if you were half robot. Hey. See what you're on with. Oh, hello. And here we have the uh, least popular and most boogie faction of the game, the uh, Data Angels. The Data Angels. Take it away, me. Jeez, this is a let's play, not a god damn game show. Anyway, despite my... Ooh, hello. Like I said, like an idiot back there. Um, as you may have gathered from the number of times I mentioned it, uh, I really, really, really don't like the Data Angels. I find as a faction they're just really boring. I, I, there's nothing against, you know, everything they stand for, I suppose, apart from the whole theft of data and probably, you know, they're probably all members of, of Anonymous or whatever it's called, WikiLeaks and a uh, lot of them. Not that they existed when this game was made, but I bet they're being supported it with the whole free flow of information. Um, look a bit, uh, a bit political there, isn't it? Whoops. Um, yeah, I don't like them in game uh, because, well, they're just all about probe teams, and I don't particularly like probe teams apart from when I build them. 
uh, they're bugging. That plus two probe there means that if they get that plus a, a covert ops center plus a couple of enhancements that you get with discovery techs takes them over the probe five limit, I think it is, and they go back to this, switches back down to negative ten, negative four probe or something, something like that. So they're broken, busted. Who cares if you're good at probe teams? Whatever. Anyway, let's take a look at them in a more uh, balanced view. Uh, this is their, uh, their leader, Cinder Rose. Uh, Morgan Net QA Manager. Uh, Unit Information Services Help Desk, I believe. She's from. Hmm. Can't remember. She's from some Caribbean island. Mm -hmm. uh, don't think it's Haiti. It might be Trinidad and Tobago, now I think about it. I can't check now because Firex has taken the website down. You may have may have heard me talk about. Um, it's a shame because we've got a lot of data from there. Let's start with information networks and planetary networks. Uh, their agenda is a free, for, free flow of information. Try saying that three times fast. And they do that by sending out a load of probe teams. And if you're you know, quite an advanced faction, not that they'll bother me because quarter planet isn't very advanced. Uh, a lot of mind worms, but nothing else. They send probe team after probe team after probe team, and it just every time seems to be successful because of that plus two probe and three covert ops center. Uh, minus one police uh, makes sense, but who, oh, who cares? Really? They're doing quite well in this game, so I suppose we ought to care, but as a faction, they just do nothing for me. Minus 25, negative 25 cross to probe team actions, skill and network access and control. Great. Maybe it's the fact that a couple of years ago I lived with a bunch of computer scientists and these seem like the computer scientists. So, oops. But what they could have been like, but weren't. They didn't do any hacking. Didn't do anything very interesting at all, really. I don't know. See, they, they just do. They just do nothing for me. I can't. I can't. I've got a bit angry about them, but apart from that, I can't rave about them. I can't come with any information about them. This is supposed to be for little interesting tidbits and factoids and other stuff that you might find interesting. But what have we got? It's just me getting all self-absorbed with how much I don't find them very interesting at all. And we've got to have a lot of dealings with them now because they seem to be doing very well. Oh well, my fault for picking an uh, all, fact, all um, expansion pack factions to play with. Well, so I've been on so long, I bet I've even stopped listening to myself. Haven't I? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Um, sm smashing. Wonderful. What have you got to say for yourself? Mm, non committal. She's probably the uh, biggest uh, challenger I've come across so far. Uh, built myself a magnificent empire on this rocky planet. Um, they're irritating as well. 80 credits to go over there and see uh, see Captain Svensko, and I can see safe haven. Conman as well. Yeah, why not? <sighs> Maybe if I send a probe team over there, there'll be a kind of poetic justice. Whatever poetic justice is. I imagine that's what 
something like that. Yeah, there are plenty of water in there. Oh, come on. I just covered all the way to two. I just saved myself 80 credits. Well done, me. Oh, good old Captain Fensgard of the Pirates. Another irritating faction, but nowhere near as irritating as the Dirty Angels. What's he got to say for himself? Actually, no, let's have an introduction first. Gar. Well, so one thing better than pirates, space pirates. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, these are the uh, Nautilus pirates. Um, of course, Sid Meier's had a thing about pirates, doesn't he? Just like the the old world, literally was plagued with uh, with pirates from the Barbary coast to the uh, to the Caribbean to Somalia. They followed us to the New World as well. Here are. Um, so yeah, these are um, these are these pirates. Woo! Uh, led by Captain Ulrich Svensgard, who, despite his name, is actually from some, and also his occupation, is actually from some landlocked midwestern state like uh, I don't know Iowa or somewhere. Uh, I think anyway. In fact, it's a shame because he's got. A, I seem to remember he has a very interesting backstory as to why, even though he came from a landlocked state in America. Uh, he had such a strange name for someone from such a landlocked state in, in the Midwest. Um, yeah, he then it's something like he then joined the crew of a ship and the ship sank. Uh, sort of from his, his father died in the ship or something. And from that day on he vowed never to lose anybody from a ship or something. Ships, navy, water. And yeah, grew to just love the water somehow. It's a fascinating story and we'll never know because... Fire Access took it down from their website um, because I don't know we couldn't we, we didn't pay for it. It was just there on the website. You could just look at it and find out some interesting facts about it. A game that you thought you couldn't learn any more about. Now they're now uh, focused on their new fancy games like Civilization V, which are flashy and graphically impressive, but ultimately soulless and leave you feeling empty afterwards. So, pirates! Uh, <laughs> well, what's his background? Use the astrogator. Astrogator. I have no idea what one of those is. Agenda. Oh, this is a good one. Pillage and burn. Um, at least it's not rape, pillage and burn. Then again, this, this game's, I think, a 12 plus or something. Can't be talking about that kind of, that kind of stuff. Start with doctrine, mobility, doctrine, flexibility. An interesting thing about this faction, in case you didn't guess it, is that they subsist in t almost entirely in the water. They build sea bases and build loads of sea units and send ships over to be a nuisance and you have to build your own ships to combat them or wait until you get air power and then you can bomb them and send ships in but you need ships to deal with them and that's what makes them really quite irritating. So what have they got? Um, don't have any pluses on the social economic scale but uh, they don't need them because they start with a free. They've got all the ships' oceans to themselves, all the planets' oceans to themselves. What have they got? Minus one efficiency. Uh, individualistic mentality opposed to central organisation makes sense. You don't get a bureaucratic pirate. I suppose. Minus one growth. Oh, here we go. This is perhaps the the hint that you get of the uh, rape, pillage, and burn. I suppose it's pillage and burn. Culture does not place high emphasis on family. Right, that's, that's euphemistic if I've ever heard it. Um, though it's only minus one growth, so I think there must be some pirate families somewhere. 
Um, free naval job with the discovery of doctrine initiative. Uh, so they don't need the naval command center or whatever it's called. They just get it free. Uh, enhancements can be built on the ocean in trench squares with the discovery of advanced ecological engineering. Sea colony pod and sea former prototypes free. Um, bonus mineral from ocean shelf squares. Uh, marine detachment ability free to all naval combat units upon discovery of adaptive doctrine. That means that if they win in combat, instead of destroying your ship, they just steal it and they get two ships and they take it back to heal it and then that's, you know, a free ship for them. So, yeah, they're quite fun to play if you like the sea. I don't. I, I can't stand the sea, but I don't see the point in sea bases. Here it might take make lots more sense because they get a free bonus mineral from Ocean Shelf Square, so they can actually reduce things in Ocean Shelf Squares, but I just tends to the point that they're, 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 you know, I don't like sea bases at the best of times, and these are nothing but sea bases, and they steal your ships and plunder your women and steal your treasure. Wait. Steal your women and plunder your treasure? Yar! Yeah, uh, yeah. And, um, oh, I don't know if you tell me, it's actually got a uh, glass eye. It took me ages to notice that. Uh, one of his eyes, I think, yeah, the, the left one. Look at that nice picture there. Uh, it's, it's a glass one. Could have worn a patch, I suppose. Right now, what's he got to say for himself? Hmm, go to magic. Harness the vast potential of the oceans. Our laser speeder prototype. What are you doing with a speeder? It's quite friendly. Bio scans showing uh, quite a placid attitude. I'll take that back, he's being uh, rather unfriendly. That's <laughs> all that. Look at that lovely fungus. Hello? Oh, he's obstinate now, is he? Oh, thank God. From uh, seat former then. Come frequencies all our active factions. What, uh, for 62 council votes, that's fairly respectable. Uh, that was just 18. Uh, 28. An accusator is 15. Yeah, go for it. That's not very nice of any of them. No one doesn't, doesn't matter. Look at that, by one vote. By one vote. Now that's, you know, that's uh, last turn where, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, that, that base popped by one. Free drone central popped by just one. That's that's the winning one, that is. See, this is what the pirates keep on doing, keep on building bases like in the middle of nowhere. We can't be getting any good out of it. A little bit I suppose. 